Hey guys, we're back with a brand new video. So today I'm gonna to show you how simple it is to take a soil sample in your yard, send it off to one of the online services, or even your local university if they have a soil testing lab. And this is gonna help you to determine if your soil pH is at the correct level, if you need to add any nutrients. It's gonna give you a total breakdown of that composition of your soil. So let's get right into it. So one thing you will need is either a trowel, like a small shovel, or you can buy one of these soil samplers on Amazon. I'll drop a link down in the description. They're fairly cheap and they actually come with some soil sample bags. So when you do go to send it off to the lab for analysis, you'll have a bag to stick the soil in. What you wanna do is you wanna collect about 10 samples from around your property. And if you have some poor drainage areas, you really wanna sample that separately. So we need to get down about four to six inches and we're gonna take those 10 plugs from around the area. We're gonna put them into a container. We're gonna combine them all, and we're gonna scoop out about a cup, put that in a sample bag, and we'll send that off. And then I'll show you the results after I get them back. All right, so we just moved into this house, and the grass is absolutely horrible, and I haven't really started working on it yet besides fertilizing. I plan on aerating and overseeding this fall, so hopefully that'll bring this back to its old former glory. I have about 0.97 acres. Um, but about 20,000 square feet is available lawn that I actually mow and fertilize. What you wanna do with the 10 samples is just kind of space them evenly among your yard. Well, the really great thing about this soil sample tool here is it takes a really small hole size out of the ground and you barely notice it. If you're using like a trowel, obviously your hole's gonna look, be a little bit bigger, but all you do with this is you just kind of shove this down in the grass, kind of bring it back and forth, and then as you bring it up, there's your soil sample. And then I just take this, I'll actually take the grass plug out here and I'll just put that back in here. And here's my sample for this spot. I just gotta repeat this nine times in some various areas around the yard. So I got three already, this is what it looks like. And what we'll do is we'll pull out any rocks or debris or anything, any grass and we'll mix all this up together real nice and then we'll take a sample from this. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna try to pick out any sticks or stones or anything like that in here. Any like chunks of grass, obviously maybe worms and stuff. And then the remaining dirt that's in here we're just gonna break this up and just mix it all together really good. These 10 samples that we just mixed together will be the sample that we send off for analysis. So we have our sample here. We have our bag. You can use a Ziploc. These are bags that came with my sample plugger here. So I'm just gonna use these. And you just wanna make sure you label these. So the directions could be different depending on where you're sending this. I'm sending this to Yukon. So what we wanna do is use a cup and Yukon wants about a cup of the mixed soil for their analysis. Don't tell my wife I'm using a measure of cups. And that's all there is to it. So I am going to get all the air out of this and I'll package this up and send this off and then we'll talk about the results I get back. All right, so it's been about a week since I sent the soil sample out and let's go over the results right now. Right off the bat here, the very first thing you'll see are calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. Now they show below optimum all the way up to excessive. And you'll notice that I'm right on the mark for potassium, phosphorus, magnesium's a little high, but calcium's extremely low. So it's below optimum. And because of that, they're recommending 100 pounds per thousand square feet of limestone to get to a target pH of 6.6. .6. Now, I wouldn't recommend putting that much down at once. You would probably want to split that up between spring and fall. And I actually tell you that in the comment section in the back here. Do not top dress turf with more than 50 pounds of limestone per thousand square foot at a time. Split application between spring and fall, or at least wait a 30 day interval. Soil test phosphorus and potassium are adequate for turf growth, so that's good. Now they show our soil pH of a 5.5. They also show all of the elements in here, boron, copper, iron. They give you an estimated total lead level when you want that to be low, obviously, especially if you have children playing out in the yard and stuff like that. But they show our parts per million for each of these elements and the expected soil range within Connecticut. So we're pretty decent on all of these 
I think our only issue is we need to get this pH up by adding some lime. Now that we have our lab results, you can see how detailed that these are. It gives you all of the information about your soil sample, what your pH is, what you need to add to your yard as far as limestone if your soil is acidic, if your pH is too low, to bring that back up to that almost neutral level of 7.0. Do I recommend a soil test? Yes, and especially if you've never done it before. I've only been in this house a few years. I have no clue what the soil composition is. I had a great lawn at my last house. This lawn is struggling and obviously my pH is too low and that, that goes to show that that's probably one of the reasons. Obviously there's other things that you can do, core aeration, dethatching, overseeding, stuff like that. But for $15, I think it's definitely worth it. Some of the online tests are very similar in price and they're gonna give you the same results. But if you have a local university, definitely support them, send it out to them. It was $15, I paid maybe three or four or $5 for shipping from the post office to be able to send that soil sample to the college. Now, there are other options if you wanna do this yourself and you don't have a local university or you don't wanna use one of the online services, you can use one of these DIY kits. You can buy these on Amazon. I will drop a link down in the description. And if you wanna know a little bit more about this, check out this video right here. All right, guys, so if you decide to go with this or this, I definitely think it's worth knowing what your soil is composed of. You wanna have a great lawn, you need to make sure that that soil pH is correct before you do anything else. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not. Check out some of my other videos, including the one about this DIY soil test. Till next time.